this, this tutorial will, is just really targeted at guys who've never seen uh, Toon Boom before and just want to quickly get into it. Um, I'm just going to give a quick little um, demonstration using basic features of Toon Boom. Um, so when you open it up, you've got your drawing view, your timeline over there. Uh, you got your uh, property page over there, which I'll explain to you in a sec. And um, yeah, and then you've got your tools here on the side, which is pretty much like uh, Photoshop or any other program you're familiar with. And you can always move stuff around. You can place it wherever you want, and you can just customize the interface to your liking. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to move this around so you can see. I've got all your um, basic tools there. Um, all these tools up here, I would get to in a in a in a bit, but um, I think for this demonstration, I just can't really go over everything. So this is just going to be pretty basic. Um, for your drawing view, if you hold the space bar, you can move it around like you can in Photoshop. And um, I've just got the brush tool here. I mean the pencil tool, and you just draw your solid white lines, uh, black lines. And here you can see that when I've drawn my image it's on uh, frame 1 and, uh, and over here we've got uh, the brush size um, you can adjust your brush size to your liking um, there's the smoothness over there which will um, adjust how smooth it will kind of filter out your line and then smooth it out um, and that can be adjusted there I prefer to have mine kind of pretty um, unsmoothed because um, I don't want anyone tampering with my line and uh, you can adjust the size of your brush so you can have a thick brush um, and the size all depends really on the the, the maximum size not the, the small size um, that's when you got the brush and you're using your Wacom and you press softly and it makes a thin line uh, press hard and it'll use the thick line so um, that's a bit too uh, thin. I think I'm going to go for a nice value like um, 20 sounds good. Um, so uh, to do a little animation um, you just start off with uh, that layer and I'm just going to call that layer uh, Beck, um, my character layer and I'm going to just draw a quick character here. This will be Beck He'll be the character that plays around in our little animation test. So nothing too complicated. And what we're going to do is uh, let's give him some color. You just click on the tab there. And we're going to find some color. Hmm, I'm thinking uh, maybe, uh, maybe a green color. And just add the paint bucket over there and just fill it in. And just uh, fill in all those gaps there. And I'll make a new layer by clicking the plus. Uh, make sure it's a drawing layer and we'll call this um, ground. And for ground I'm just going to move it under back and just draw a simple ground. Um, I must use black and just draw my line there. And then I'll fill that in with like a a green color, grass color, with a bucket. And now you can see there I've just got the two elements there. And this is because you're in the drawing view. If you're in the camera view like this, you can see all the elements together. Um, this was really just the output of the box, the, the render that you'll see. Um, okay, so I'm just going to make another layer. Let's call this um, background. And with my brush tool um, in the drawing view, I'm just oh, let me get black there, and um, maybe I should draw a little forest or what? Um, yeah, just a couple of trees and bushes in the background. Um, oh, nothing too complicated. Uh, maybe I should get some palm trees. And maybe one more over there, or maybe just uh, one more over here. That looks good. Okay, and um, 
just fill in all those gaps there and yeah now to give it a bit of color um, just gonna give it a darker green and a lighter green maybe for these leaves of the palm trees and a brown color for the for the trees and um, you know, we'll just go into the camera view I'm just gonna put that layer underneath everything so it's like in the background and uh, It'll, whatever layer you select, it'll always be in the front, so that's why it's looking like it is. Just going to select it and just put it to the background there. And yeah, so I suppose what I need now is uh, maybe another, maybe one more element. Maybe I should have a sky. Just click the plus, name it sky, uh, move it to the back there. Um, just a bright blue. Uh, no, I can't use the paint bucket. I just want to draw a square using the square tool there. And there we go. And then just fill it with blue. And let's see, top layer there. Okay, so there's my uh, basic scene kind of um, prepared there. So now I'm going to need something to just kind of interact with this. Um, uh, I must just uh, extend the exposure or we'll extend it to uh, to 60 frames. Now what extending the exposure is, I just go uh, extend exposure, is um, is it just um, it just kind of stretches out the one frame to uh, so it can play for 60 frames. So it's just the one element in each layer just playing on for 60 frames. So so now I'm just going to add another element. Uh, I'm going to add a ball. And this ball we're going to have interact with the character. So I'm just going to um, go in the drawing view and just select uh, the circular tool. And oh wait, we need black. Uh, we go, add black there. If you hold Alt and Shift while dragging, it'll give you a nice circle in the middle of where you uh, start a drawing. And yeah, there we go. So uh, what I'm going to need to do is um, extend that drawing also to uh, 60 frames. And here we go into the camera view and there's our little ball. So we just uh, move the ball by selecting the move tool. Just moving it over there. 